Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about how to pass your C38 license exam. Now the C38 refrigeration contractor license exam is going to be made up of a few different sections including planning and estimation, refrigeration system installation, refrigeration system repair, refrigeration system maintenance, and safety. Now if you're unfamiliar with the C38 license you should check out our previous video where we break down the license in detail. Today we're just going to be focusing on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses that fall under the C specialty, you'll also need to pass the law and business exam, and that'll include sections on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, public works, and there'll be a section on safety. So essentially, you've got to pass two tests, 115 questions covering law and business and 115 questions covering refrigeration. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book, you'll get three hours to complete each section. It's going to be a computerized exam that you'll take at a CSLB testing facility. So if you're applying from out of state, just know that you will need to come to California to physically take the exam. Now, we've got a free guide that breaks the entire licensing process down in California, shows you how to fill out the application, sample questions, a ton of information about scope of work and everything that you'll need to know. You can check that out in the top right hand corner. Now, the refrigeration specialty portion of your test is going to be extremely important. You're going to be tested on planning and estimation, installing refrigeration equipment, troubleshooting electrical problems, code compliance, residential commercial refrigeration systems, project layout, electrical materials, basic electrical formulas, absorption refrigeration systems, plans and circuit symbols, and then of course job site safety. Now there's a lot more that's going to be on the test, but this is just kind of a quick snapshot of what you need to be prepared to answer questions on. Now the mathematics that you're going to want to be familiar with are obviously going to include your applied math. You'll want to make sure that you're comfortable with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, calculating square footage, understanding percentages and decimals. You'll need to be familiar with a certain degree of electrical math and then of course job costing and estimation. Now, preparing for your C38 license exam, obviously, make sure that you're familiar with everything that's going to be on the law and business exam. You'll need to be solid on your trade-specific fundamentals, and you'll want to see the possible questions that could arise um, because there's a lot you're going to be tested on that you may or may not be doing on a daily basis. California takes health and safety extremely seriously, so environmental safety, job site safety, employees rights. These are all things that are really important in California. So they're going to be a significant part of your exam. Then obviously math skills, make sure that you know your common equations, your formulas, and you're able to answer math related questions quickly. You'll want to have some test ticking experience. So timed exams with flashcards and not only questions and answers, but uh, answer explanations that give you context as to why the questions uh, you know, are incorrect and correct. And then obviously walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors are invaluable. You're getting insight from lawyers to help you break down and understand the different verbiage and basically insight from licensed contractors who have passed multiple license tests and they're not only giving you insight on how to pass the exam but also how to run a profitable contracting company in California. All of this is included with our C38 refrigeration license course. If you have any questions feel free to drop them below in the comments. Like and subscribe to our channel. I hope you found this video helpful. Again my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com and thanks again for watching.